We're going to take a look at the Boss PN2 Tremolo Pan. This pedal is quite sought after. Um, they were produced between 1990 and 1995, uh, all made in Taiwan, of course. Um, once they were discontinued, there was no um, Tremolo in the Boss lineup, but in 1997, they produced the TR2 which is still in production. Um, in my mind this is a superior pedal to the TR2 even though the TR2 is still a nice pedal. Um, this has a lot more features and is a lot cooler. The PN2 has two inputs A and B and two outputs. This is great for using with two amplifiers. The controls, there is the rate that controls the speed of the um, effect, the depth that's the intensity. Um, then you've got the uh, pan mode and that gives you a sawtooth and a square wave and the tremolo mode and that gives you a sawtooth and a square wave. The guitar is a Fender Carbonita Telecaster the amp a Fender Super 210 all valve. Here the pedal is on my main pedal board uh, you can see it in the top left hand corner. Okay, The first thing you will notice is that when the pedal is plugged in and the lead goes into input A, uh, the light flashes regardless of the pedal being on and off. So that's kind of cool. Um, this is the clean signal. Okay, first off, we're going to um, examine the tremolo in the uh, sawtooth mode. Everything is at 12 o'clock. You can hear the throb up there. Uh, we just bring up the depth a little more and the rate a little. There's no volume drop. I have an early TR2 and uh, that has the volume drop. Bring up the depth more and the rate more. Quite stuttery there. Um, bring it up full. to test the pan I'm going to um, run it um, with output A and B into two uh, separate amplifiers and one on the left is a Marshall TSL 602 uh, the one on the right is a Fender Frontman 212R. This is the um, pan in the sawtooth mode shimmer off that. Um, you hear it a lot on um, Fender Rhodes um, keyboards uh, back in the old days. Um, just bring the depth up. Okay, now the um, pan in the square wave. Okay, 
Yeah, it's really cool. The camera's probably not picking it up um, properly. Bring up the depth and the rate. So overall it's a nice unit, um, it would be great uh, through a PA system in stereo, um, especially with a keyboard, electric piano and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so it's um, really cool, I love the green colour too, and uh, these are pretty sought after at the moment, um, they're well over £100, um, pounds. and um, I was lucky enough to get this one pretty cheaply and um, yeah if you keep your ear to the ground pardon the pun you'll uh, find one and uh, they're a lot of fun so yeah thanks for watching take care mm -hmm.